Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this week's video, I wanna to talk to you guys about how to protect other people from yourself and how to protect yourself from yourself and how to protect your stuff from other people. The way that we do all that defending that I talked about in the intro is through safe firearm storage. Safe firearm storage essentially just means that when our guns are outside of our direct control, they ought to be locked away. We need to do this because of a big category of people called unauthorized users. And pretty much anyone entering your home, I would say would be considered an unauthorized user unless otherwise understood. Um, people like coming over for watching the game or people who are bringing their kiddos over or if you have kiddos in your home and all the way down to the person who is burglarizing your home while you're away on vacation. And for the safety of everyone involved, we don't want any of these unauthorized users to have access to our firearms. And the absolute best way to ensure that these unauthorized users don't have access to our firearms is to lock them away. Hiding our guns is not a reliable way to prevent unauthorized access. Believe me, I grew up in a house where guns were hidden instead of locked up for a period of time, and I knew exactly where every single one of those firearms were stored. And that's not because my parents told me where they were. Now, I know what you might be thinking if you're not already locking up your guns, and that probably is that you need to still be able to have quick access to your firearm in case somebody were to invade your home. And I think that's a totally valid point. And I think that there are two main ways that you can do this safely. The first is to just carry on body in your house. This gives us the fastest and most reliable access, but it can be a bit uncomfortable and it definitely doesn't work when we're sleeping. The other option is quick access safes, which will be what I'm going to talk about next. Back in 2019, when I got my first handgun, I knew that I wanted to have a smaller safe in addition to our larger safe where we keep most of our firearms because I wanted to have something that I could keep my gun locked away in when I was sleeping, something that could be there at my bedside, uh, something I could take in my vehicle or on vacations. And so I took to the YouTubes, much like you might be, um, to find what safe I wanted to use. And I found Lucky Gunner's handgun safe video. Um, that video is back from 2018, but honestly, it's still super relevant and still a really helpful video. So I would suggest that if that's you, if you're looking for your next handgun safe or your first handgun safe, uh, go watch Lucky Gunner's handgun video. I'll have that linked above and down in the description. And because of that video, I wound up choosing a top draw quick access safe from V-Line. And that safe has seen a ton of use over the last three years from using it on vacation, inside the vehicle, uh, bedside. Um, one thing I really enjoyed using it for for a couple of years back when we were still living in Texas was we would go visit family in the Phoenix area and we didn't have kiddos in our house, but they had kiddos in their house. And it was it gave me a lot of peace of mind when we would defang, we'd take our guns off in the evening um, to know that they were locked away and to be for certain that none of those adorable little unauthorized users had access to either of our handguns. I really like the simplex locking system. It seems entirely foolproof to me. I don't have to worry about easily damaging the lock. I don't have to worry about losing battery and I don't have to worry about losing a key and potentially giving those unauthorized users an opportunity to find the key. The main thing though is just to not forget the combination. A few months ago, V-Line actually contacted me and offered to send me one of their handgun safes with a drawer system. And since I've been enjoying my other V-Line safe for a couple of years now, I figured this was a great opportunity to try something that I could use as a dedicated under the bed storage. What I really like about this particular safe is that it's noticeably deeper, which allows me to keep my gun in its holster on an Enigma without hindering the drawer from pulling out. Obviously the ability to mount it on top of or underneath something like a bed frame, a desk or something else sturdy is also really nice. If you're looking for a safe way to store your handgun, I'm going to leave some links down in the description that will take you guys to some videos that are gonna do kind of an overview on the different kind of safes that are out there, the different kind of locking systems that are out there. This is something I would highly recommend that you guys do your own research on and come to your own conclusions um, about what you need and what will suit you best and your needs. Um, this week's video was not a safe review. I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about the importance of safe storage and share some of the things that I've 
I've enjoyed using over the last couple of years. That said, if you do kind of wind up coming back around in your research and deciding to get a V-Line safe, they have provided you guys with a coupon code that you can use to save a little bit on the cost of your handgun safe or whatever safe that you wind up needing from them and also to support the channel. Thanks guys for watching this week's video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. You can always hit the unsubscribe button and leave a spirited comment on your way out when you decide later down the road you don't like my content anymore, but in the meantime, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to see more content like this.